Camera is the Latin word for room or chamber. Obscura is the Latin word for dark or darkened. So the camera obscura is basically just a darkened room. Any kind of room can become a camera obscura, even a small box. First we have to make sure our box is completely dark inside. Then we'll cut a small opening to allow light to come in. We can put our camera obscura in the landscape. Rays of light reflect off objects in the landscape and bounce off in all directions. Most of the light will be scattered, but some will make it through the opening in our camera obscura. The reflected light will be the same color as the object in the landscape. Light reflects off other objects too. All of the spots of light combine to form an image on the back of the camera obscura. If the opening in the camera is large, the rays of light are large. This makes a bright projection because a lot of light is allowed in, but it also makes a blurry picture because the projections are large and overlap quite a lot. If the opening in the camera is small, the rays of light are small. It makes a darker picture because less light is allowed into the camera. It also makes a sharper picture because the projections are smaller and do not overlap as much. You'll notice that the projection is always upside down and backwards. This is because light travels in a straight line. Now it's your turn. Try making a camera obscure at home. You can use a cardboard box, or you can darken a room in your house. Simply cut an opening to allow light to come in and enjoy the projection. That's how you do it.